Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, if you guys are new here. It's gonna be a few days in my life. I definitely planned on starting the vlog earlier today. Number one, <laughs> my face doesn't match my body. I haven't self tanned my face because I've been focusing on my acne. My body's <laughs> really tan, I just realized. I'm glad we're starting off on a light note because yeah, I intended on starting the vlog earlier today, but to be completely honest, I've had a bit of a rough day. I like to beta talking about this, but I think it is important too. I feel like I start getting emotional and people are like, oh God, what happened? Is it like a friend or your relationship? This actually has to do with my health. So today I went for a sonogram on my boobs because my gynecologist referred me I know this is kind of like intimate to talk about this kind of stuff, but I'm just gonna like be open about it. I got a sonogram. My mom like prepped me about like what it would be like because she's had them done before and stuff. On one, oh my God, I'm like gonna cry again. Basically on one side they found something. I'm not seeking any medical advice or whatever. Like I, like it's between me and my doctors. I'm just more or less like venting about this. They found a swollen lymph node on one side and now from what i gather this is like and they they really were like not super like crazy concerned they asked like a bunch of questions you know because like basically that could happen from agitating it they were like you know have you had any tattoos or any vaccinations and i did have a flu shot but i can't remember what freaking arm i got it on and that was like a month and a half ago now like that was like a while ago which they say that it still could be from that just so we're clear and it's like more than likely that that's like what it is from but obviously you hear something like that and you're like oh my god shit and they're like you have to come back in in two months for another scan and then if not like if it's still problem we'll do a biopsy now i'm dramatic and i like jump to conclusions i'm like oh my god i'm literally dying i don't know like i feel like if i was listening to myself tell the story i'd be like okay like you're fine bro calm down i don't know what happened like i was fine when i was in the room and i like walked out and luckily my mom sweet angel went to this appointment with me i'm so glad she did but it just like it gets your brain thinking in like a million different directions and you're like oh my god like what if it actually is something like, and now i have to wait for two months to actually find out if it is anything because they want to give it time to like possibly like go down or whatever so i'm not even gonna know like i'm in a period of like not knowing for a while it's like more than likely that it is fine it like really triggered me for some reason i was really emotional about it like when i first got the news and then like i had chilled out and then now talking about it like i get emotional again but i know that i'm gonna be fine it's fine the crazy thing is though like they were looking at my breasts like my boobs right and they find something possibly in my like armpit area like lymph nodes basically I'm like that's not even technically like why i went in but I, I guess they're all connected i don't really understand that's the update so i have to go back in in two months so i will keep you guys posted because i just hope that everything's okay and like i i literally can't get going on the googling because I just did and I was like, okay, like I'm dying. And you're not supposed to do that. And you're literally like, that's like the number one thing you're not supposed to do. And I just got my blood work back and like everything's fine. So I'm sure that it like, I hope that it's just like a fluke, whatever. That triggered me today. Cause it just gets you thinking about everything. Like, you know, you take for granted so much. I do it all the time. I so take for granted my health. Cause you just exist every day. If you are a, a healthy person with your bones working with everything. I think about like when I broke my wrist and how like debilitated I felt that I could like barely even like wash my own hair and like do things for myself how much i you know just didn't even appreciate having a wrist and an arm that worked because it's just something that you have and that you're used to so whenever i do gratitude i always write down i'm so grateful for my health and the health of my friends and family that's like always at like the very top of my gratitude list so i really try not to take it for granted but it just like you hear something like that and you start like absolutely spiraling and you're like oh my god like because if, if i don't have my health like that's it you know so that's how today this morning started and then i came back and i had like uh, so much work to do because my mom was here yesterday so i like pushed off a lot of my work from yesterday but luckily i stayed busy with work so like i was like distracted and stuff and then this evening i am going to go to a soul cycle class so that will like get my mind off things and just overall make me feel better i think i'm just like really emotional and working out always makes me feel better that's what happened today and i'm sure that there's a million people out there watching who you know have a similar story or just like have had health scares or i i really pray that all of you guys are like healthy and stuff but this is why it's so important to go for your regular like doctor checkups and everything because this just would have gone like and hopefully it goes away i'm hoping that it does but this is something that would have just gone completely unnoticed if i like didn't go to my annual checkup and like didn't you know like these are the, that's the reason why you have to do these things anyways we're gonna drop the subject because i don't want that to be the focus of today's vlog but i did want to share that's what happened today this is my last tissue we're gonna turn this night around i'm blowing out my candle it's late-ish it's seven i'm taking a 7 30 class which is 
kind of late, but it actually worked out because I had a good amount of stuff to do. I really want to finish this in this vlog, but I'm like savoring every minute because it's such a freaking good book, but I'm like halfway through now. It's just, I'm, I'm like really loving it. I'm wearing this sweatshirt that Roller Rabbit sent me. And my brown lemon set. Let's go spin. We'll feel better after. morning. I did not want to get up this morning. Getting ready for yet another soul cycle class. <laughs> I actually thought that taking it at this time today would make more sense. I'm taking the 1030 class. I think I just prefer evening workouts. I prefer to like kind of do my day and like end my day with it. I don't know. Everyone has their preferences though. Look at this. It's an eye cream. But the other end of it is like a little massager. This has been my favorite freaking moisturizer lately. I'm like powering through it, but it's seriously keeping my skin so nice during these winter months i started using it maybe a few weeks ago and i've been absolutely obsessed because it's like a cream but it feels like almost like a gel texture but it's really moisturizing just a little bit of skincare before we change into the work outfit of the day I'm trying not to wear makeup to these workout classes these days because i know that it's just not good for my skin i feel better today and we're turning it around we're gonna have a good day It's a gorgeous day and I'm walking home, taking my time. I'm not going now because it's simply, it's like 11.30 and I just don't want ice cream right now. But look, this is the TikTok guy that has an ice cream shop. Um, I feel like I, I wanna go. But it is a gorgeous day. Look at the sun hitting, oh my God. I've heard a lot about this coffee shop matcha place called the Cafe Iberia. I don't know how I've, I don't know if I've ever been walked in the street that's right here in Noah. very chai, which I know you're like, okay, but you got that. But it tastes like, like a lot of spices. But the place is really cool. I'm like, I probably should have done that. Mm -hmm. Eating my Chipotle for lunch, showered. I didn't wash my hair. Can't wash it every time. I did a few random work things, but I really want to finish my book this afternoon. That's what I want to do. Hi, I spent a good portion of the afternoon reading and then I did a little Reformation try on haul for TikTok, but I also posted it on shorts, trying to get better about posting on shorts for you guys that are not on TikTok. It's like sunset time now. Tonight I have an event with Amanda Uppertured, which is a really fun fashion brand that I love so, so much. It's at like a lounge. So I think it's like stop by like cocktail vibes. I think Margot Lee and I are gonna try to show up at the same time. A lot of people are out of town this weekend. My outfit's not casual, but I'm gonna make it like a pretty chill night. I'm gonna go home tomorrow night back to Long Island. Haven't been there in a while, even though I just saw my mom, but I just happened to have like a really like nothing planned weekend here. And I've been meaning to go to one of my brother's lacrosse games. My parents, we're like, if you come home, you could drive out to the game with us. Glow recipe, watermelon dew drops, but I'm gonna put some self-tanner in it. <laughs> come on. I'm using my tanning drops. I temporarily have you guys stacked while I tell you. So yeah, I'm gonna go home tomorrow and then we'll drive upstate for Sal's game and then I'll go back to Long Island and then come back to the city on Sunday. So that's like my weekend plan. I have to go rinse off my hands now from that self-tanner. Don't worry, I just found one under my bed. We're safe. It's a little one, I was using the big one. So this one will probably go so fast. I'm almost out of this eye cream too. I've been using this NARS eye cream. Yeah, the day kind of got away from me. I edited a sponsored video. I, like I said, filmed that Reformation haul, got that up. Did some thinking about my birthday party. Not that I like wanna have like a big birthday party. It's really not gonna be like a big thing. It's just more or less like plans for my birthday. I don't wanna say it just yet, but my birthday's on April 15th, which is Coachella weekend. So, you know, it's kind of like, is Coachella maybe happening? Not that I have any tickets or anything, but a lot of brands do events related to Coachella and I kind of just decided like, no, I'm not really, the lineup is kind of doing it for me, but it's just a really big trek out there and I'm just like, I'm going to another music festival in like August. I'm not dying, like I'm not dying to go. I'd rather be here on my birthday, but I think I'm coming up with somewhat of a fun plan like during the day on my birthday, which is exciting. It's 26 and I feel like you can have like a huge celebration every year. Last year I had like a party for my birthday, but I'm not planning on doing that every year. That's like, it's just a little over the top, I think. I'll save like the special celebration for 
another one. Gonna put on some makeup, like I said. This is the dress. I love the fabric and everything. I wish that it didn't have this long part over here. I wish that it was kind of just like the mini because I don't know, I feel like it does more on my body like if it were short, but that's a me thing. Um, overall, it's a gorgeous dress. It's just like, I feel like this is like uh, very formal and I'm going to like a cocktail party. That's on me because I chose this dress, but it's gorgeous. Look at like, the detail and everything. Um, and I didn't know like shoes, accessories. I was struggling a little bit with like what tones to pair this with. I decided to go black, which normally I don't do black and blue together. But I have my sparkly bag and I have my black heels. I figured that would be the best pairing for it tonight. So I was going to do like white shoes, but then a white bag. But then I didn't know what coat to wear. This, I have this black coat that ties on my... It's still like, it doesn't really go... Like, gorgeous dress, I just don't... Like, I feel like I, this would be better suited for me to wear to like a wedding in like the spring. <laughs> I look so random. I do think it's important to like feel confident, especially these things, because it's a lot... Like, it's an influencer event, right? And everyone is so nice and amazing. Like it has, it's literally just me being like, hmm, I want to like look and feel my best, but I'm sure I'll feel better once I get there. Let's go. Good morning from my bed. Oh my God, that sounds sneaky. I finished. I cried already, but I like whipped off my tears. I could cry thinking about it. It's a very emotional book. And I've just been emotional in this vlog. God damn. It was a beautiful book. I don't really give five out of five and people are like why don't you give five out of five for me five out of five is like i literally would not change a single thing like it was so beyond perfect not even that i have the capability of writing a book that that that's that perfect but i feel like every book to me is like even if it's as close to perfect as possible it's still like a 4.9 4.75 whatever those are the books that still really stay with me five like i don't even think i've really read a true five out of five yet but i gave this a 4.9 there was like one chapter in there that i was like okay this gets like a little weird and random but like then it comes around at the end but every other second of this book i was like truly lingering on to every word i can't remember the last time i read a book that of course and i'm reading it and like processing the words but i was truly like clinging on to every single word like i read this at a much slower rate i feel like than i read most books because i was so hyper fixated on like really really like intense comprehension and i've seen some mixed reviews on this and i really am struggling to understand why i i mean books are obviously personal preference i will say if you read like the typical genre of book that i do like a thriller or a romance this is different it's just not like my normal books there's not crazy twists and turns it's definitely like a slower storyline but i still felt like i didn't feel like it was boring let me be clear because normally when i say slower i feel like i even think of boring i'm like okay like i don't know if the patience for that but no, like it still keeps you interested, at least for me. I really liked the way that it was written in terms of like that you kind of understood what the characters were thinking. It gave you sufficient backstories on them. You really fall in love, even though they have flaws with like the three main characters. It's a great book. I think you could, even if you didn't like like the book, like you could be like, okay, well, it's really like well-written and like a beautiful book, but just not for me. But for me, I loved it. So if you guys read this and you have any recs similar to this, please let me know. On that note, um, I posted on my YouTube community tab, but I am working up the idea of a book club, cooking it up. I have some loose ideas. I think I want to do it on YouTube. I consider doing it on other platforms or like Instagram or whatever, but I think I want to do it on YouTube and I think I want to do a once a month live chat situation and then maybe we would have some sort of like chat function. The only problem is that I don't want it to, like I really want it to be people that are like reading the book and invested in stuff. So I feel like I would have to do some sort of a like, you have to like opt in situation because I don't know, I want it to be for people that like actually want to read the book and not just like a general like YouTube live, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working on that and like working through all that just so we're clear, but that's what's to come. But if you haven't read this book, I definitely suggest, this is definitely my favorite of the year so far. Next, I'm going to read this by Jodi Picoult. Wish you were here. And I think I am out of my reading slump, which is really nice. But it just goes to show how personal books are because like I said, this one, I, like, I didn't think it on mixed reviews, but I guess it does. At least people in my DMs were like, it's not for me. But then, you know, other people are like, Akatar, like love that, you know, it's their whole life, whatever. So it just goes to show books are very, very personal. Something could be your favorite book and like everybody else hates it, whatever. That's on that. And that's the book chat of the morning. Today, in a little bit, I'm going to go work out again. Then I need to film something. Well, come back here, like shower, get ready, film something, and then I'm headed home. Last night was fun. I got to see some friends and socialize. I didn't really vlog too much. I didn't drink, which I'm proud of myself. I literally got a bottle of water. And yeah, I did order Starbucks and Uber Eats this morning because I like don't really have a ton of food or whatever so I got um, spinach feta wrap and then I tried to get an iced coffee with foam but they forgot the foam 
but I messaged the Greeks and they gave me my money back for the coffee at least. My thing is like, if I'm gonna spend that premium, they better be making it right. I've been spending a lot of time in my bed and I'm normally not like this, but reading in my bed is just like the ultimate comfortable situation, especially cause I've been working out. My legs are so tight. Like it's nice to get into a comfortable position to like stretch them out while I'm reading. I do really like my couch, but it's not like the most comfortable. Like if I'm gonna be reading and know that I'll be reading for a few hours, I would much rather be like plushed up in bed, even though I'm like normally not the type to be in bed in the middle of the day. Still technically the morning, it's like nine o'clock. I woke up um, at like 7 a.m. naturally. It's nice to be like progressively fixing my sleep schedule though, I will say that. That's all for now. This will be the next book. Maybe I'll start a few pages of it now just to get going. Sometimes that helps just to like read a chapter or two. Read this book if you haven't. I feel like I haven't been doing too much book chat and vlogs, but I'm definitely gonna do more just cause I've been like traveling and on the go and focusing on other projects. But like the next few weeks, even with the traveling that I'm doing, I'm planning to read a lot. So getting back into it. Now that I'm out of my reading slump. I just took Lowe's class, was phenomenal. And now we go home, get everything done. I got ready, came home, shower, but I just blue dried my hair on top of, uh, it was wet with sweat. But at my house, I don't even think I told you guys, there's a bunch of like home updates. My parents are insane and they just are constantly improving the house. So there's some home updates. So once I get back to Long Island, I'll show you those and we'll have a little fun. I'm going to film a brand deal really quick. This is the cutest thing ever, but like I kind of have under boob and like I could never wear this in any sort of workout class because my boob will pop out. But it's like so cute. I usually do large top, medium bottom, but I always see people like at Cycle and stuff wearing them. I guess if you don't have issues with that, it's great because the bottoms and everything, they're great. And the material, it's super comfy. It's just for, in terms of like larger chest support. I struggle, but how cute is this? I just threw on this sweatshirt. I'm actually going to go grab my car and we'll load it up. I'm bringing a bunch of stuff home. I haven't been home in a while, so yeah, just, you know, bringing stuff back. I have like clothes here. This is like clothes I'm bringing home. My closet at home is actually pretty, pretty empty, but I will bring back like dresses and stuff that if I'm home, I'll wear or I'll just swap out just to create room, like things that I'm, you know, not prepared to get rid of, but I want to keep in the rotation, you know? Or maybe my mom could borrow, whatever. But let's film this brand deal. I just did very glowy makeup. I did like concealer and then just a lot of blush and bronzer. And that's pretty much what I packed for this weekend. I'm not planning on wearing too much makeup. And I'm wearing like leggings and like workout clothes the whole time, even though like I'm going to Sal's lacrosse game, but it's going to be like 40 degrees, like super cold. So I brought layers to be nice and warm. We're in my car. Celsius sent me this like little car air freshener I put in my purse when I got it. I need to remember. It's so cute. Where should I put it? I love the little cherry. I'll put it right here. It smells like a Celsius flavor. That's what it should smell like. I have to go swing my car back around and we'll load it up. Also, I'm excited to be bringing it home because I need to clean it. I need to like vacuum everything. Like I haven't cleaned it since my ski trip, so it's a little dirty. Happens. There is so much traffic. It's taking me over two hours to get home, which should not happen. Um, but we're making it. What I did want to say, I wanted to talk about music a little bit. So I don't have a lot of plans this summer. Well, actually, uh, that's a lie. I have some plans this summer, including like Hamptons, some weddings, but mostly concerts. I'm really excited. Summertime is always really fun because there's a lot of like good concerts, I feel like, for the type of music I like, which is like more electronic-y stuff. And you guys can follow me on Spotify. I just got verified on Spotify, which I felt really cool about. Danielle and I had a call with them and they were like, oh, we could verify you. I was like, give me that blue check on everything, especially because it means nothing on Twitter anymore. It used to be such a flex. I didn't pay for it. My thing with the Twitter checks is even if I didn't pay for it, which I didn't, in current time, if I had that option and I didn't already have it, I probably would do it. So I, I don't judge. What else was I saying? Oh, but summertime is always really fun for concerts. I do a lot of my listening on Spotify, but a lot of good like EDM stuff is on SoundCloud actually. So if I like someone, like if I find someone I like, I will just go like, I'm listening right now to a Dom Dalla set. So I like will go to SoundCloud and just type in Dom Dalla set. It's kind of nice also for drives. Cause it's like, it will be like one to two hours of just like the music and I don't have to worry about like, oh, I don't like the song or whatever. I can kind of just listen without having to change the song all the time. If you didn't know, that's a cool thing to do. Still another hour and a half in the car. I'm kind of getting hungry. I was wondering if I should stop for a snack because I know when I get home, I'm gonna eat dinner kind of soon, but I'm hungry now. We'll see, if I pass by something that's like a viable option, I'm not gonna go off track for it. How about that? That's like fair, right? I used to love making car vlogs and stuff. I still do, but I feel like in the city when I'm driving, I'm not like, oh, let me just drive and listen to music. Like it's more of like a stress inducing experience. But once I get out, like I'm still in Queens, but once I like get out to like deeper into Long Island, it's a little uh, more relaxing, I will say. But yeah, very thankful to have my car always though. It's really, really nice. I need to like 
like I said, vacuum the mats and everything and really take care of it. I packed a ton of stuff into the back, bringing home a lot of like dresses and stuff that I know I will either want this summer and just like freeing up a little bit of space in my closet. I feel like my hair looks good considering it's so dirty. I just air wrapped it. Look at this. It's very cool. Oh, put on your Bluetooth. You can change the color. This is crazy. Oh, that's cool. It's so I like the red. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> All right, we are literally in the sauna in my parents' basement. This is one of the improvements that they made around here. Look, there's like a ledge. Wow, this is great. My mom was like, I could barely read in there because I start to drip <laughs> from sweat. So I'm gonna try. But yeah, they put in an infrared sauna. I feel like this is uh, a thing that a lot of people are putting in their house these days. When I get lymphatic drainage massages, sometimes I go in them. But I've never like really just sat in one on its own. I prefer a steam room, but this is really, really enjoyable. I see why people like it. Especially once you get sweating, I'm sure. It feels probably really good. Well, we'll see. I feel really good, but I actually expected to sweat more. I mean, I'm definitely like sweating under my hair and stuff, but I expected to sweat more. But I only set it at 1.30 because I don't really do saunas a lot, but now I know I could go a little warmer than that. <laughs>